and you keep more than a couple of bikes, this video is right up your street. So we have two of these, 100% recyclable. Everything is replaceable. We've got the joiner. Yeah, and these things turn. Like that. And obviously they turn around, whatever way you want them. With loads of room to get round it, like this. Oh, look at the room. Absolutely buzzing. Let me tell you a story. Hey guys, this video is all about bike storage. If you've got some sort of shed or maybe in your house or maybe somewhere where you're slightly tight for room and you keep more than a couple of bikes, this video is right up your street. So if you look at what I've got, I've had these hooks for several years now. Someone gave them to me and they're all metal hooks. With, they're like plastic coated. The plastic moves on them. They're all fixed. So as I will show you, this is what I have to go through every time. Proper first world problems. But, <laughs> um, so Todd's helping me there. It can be quite awkward when you're on your own. Uh, Gotta make it's sure it's not matter. on the wheel graphics well, that's yeah. the main reminder. So lift them up. And it's pretty good. But this takes up, I've got eight bikes on here, and this takes up 2.4 meters. And once they're there, they're there. You can't move them. That's how they stay. And when you've got to get one out, um, yeah, you've got to get them between. And then I use like a cable lock and gold standard locks between each one. So when they're locked together, they're all a bit like this, a bit close together and all on a bit of an angle. So there is a solution and it's pretty amazing. Let me show you what's just arrived. So we have two of these from Stashed. Uh, this is a UK company based not far from me in Shropshire. Uh, the guy, he's designed bikes, he's designed components for bikes. Uh, he's a problem-solving, engineering, designy type guy for a living. So he knows the crack. He knows what he's doing. So let's have a look what's inside. So what we all like nowadays is we don't want to be getting some products that arrive and they all need, you know, they're full of plastic and they're full of stuff that's not recyclable or, you know, it's this one-time product stuff. Uh, this is 100% recyclable packaging. No plastic. No plastic whatsoever, apart from actually what the product is made of. Even the tape is that like paper tape. So we'll open it up. This is the rail here. So that sits up like that. Uh, bear in mind we've got two of these. These will do four bikes each. And this is proper heavy duty, heavy gauge aluminium. Um, 1.2 meters and the other one's 1.2 meters. So these things, you know, you, you are compressing the bikes together. They, they're all on sliders and wheels. So that's your alloy. You've got four of these hooks, as you can see. It is all in cardboard. So there you go. So these are on rollers like that. And then once they slide along in there, these also turn aluminium, then coated there with like this hard plastic or everything is replaceable. Um, then these are like I say, these are on these rollers and they have like bump ends and they bump into each other. So that's these, ah, there we go. So these are for, I think these are for when you're doing mountain bikes and you want it a bit longer. So they push in the end. And that's got the screws in. I wonder what that was for. Wow. So there we go. So we've got four of them. And then here, this is proper unboxing. I don't know what is in these bits. This is, I'm guessing, fixtures and fittings and instructions. Yeah. There we go. 
fixtures and fittings. Ah, so these, I'm guessing, we've got something that goes into there, and these sit like this, and they will uh, they will go into your ceiling or into whatever you need to screw in, and also they slide along, so you can sort of fit it to the roof or however you want to fit it to whatever by sliding it along, putting it in the right place that you desire. So we've got a couple of instruction manuals in here, one for the, the big rail and one for all the bits that go on it. So we will look at this and now it is time to get the bikes out of the way, get all the forks and bits and pieces out of the way and we're gonna have a rejig. I think I'm gonna move the uh, toolbox and have them so they go right up into that corner and it's almost gonna be half the length of what it currently is. So let's get to work. Look at how much room all these bikes take up when they're all down. Actually, pretty mad. Looks weird having it all empty. Yeah. Right, so we've got a blank canvas now. Everything's been cleared. We've got the whole four point whatever meters. So time to have a look at fitting these and start getting them up. So the rail's on. Just got to put the thing in. Oh, he's on it. <laughs> She's tough. <laughs> now, in the other box, we have this, which is what they call a rail joiner. So you can join the rail to the next rail. And I mean, you can just keep going if you've got 850,000 bikes. That will be us in 2023. Yeah. <laughs> you did it the wrong and way. And it goes in like that. So let's join the rails. Got the last hook going in now. I think it's probably only taken like, um, well, if you imagine, forget me clearing everything out, it's probably taken an hour to fit this. If that. Not even that, maybe. My only concern is this is a sloping roof that when I put the bikes in, they might come down, but it's not much of a slope, so I think we'll get away with it. And look, we've got the joiner. Yeah, and these things turn. And then when they've got weight on them, it sort of, uh, I think it locks. No, they lock when the weight's not on them, they go a bit stiffer. So you've got to pull them down a bit when yeah. you want to. Right. Very, very clever Let's product. Let's stick the bikes on it. You've got to put the end on first. Oh yeah, might want to do that. Last piece to the puzzle. You just need to tighten that up. And start bringing some bikes in. Bike is here, the most used bike. So it's getting on this end. And it's that simple. Yes, and it clears the floor. We were close because of the sloping roof. Obviously it's close at that end. Next one are we doing it the other way up? Yes, and we'll stagger them. So we realised the sloping work wasn't going to work. The yes. sloping roof wasn't going to work. So, a bit of timber bodging. A bit of off camera handiwork. And we've, uh, we've put that to plumb level and just put in the final screws in here and then you just screw these big coach screws into the roof joist after because i know it's level then and then we put the bikes on and they won't all roll down one end but that's the fact that they're rolling is testament to just how good these uh these rollers are. So 
So because I think I'm going to put the toolbox back there again and I want to get to it, we're going to slide them down this end. And just to show you, now it's put up, just how easy it is to slide these and turn them like that. And obviously they turn around whatever way you want them. And they're so close. And in a minute, I will measure... Bearing in mind before, it was, what was it, four and a half metres, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And see how close we can get them. And then obviously all the locks and everything will go around them in a minute. And we'll see how much space eight bikes takes up. So four and a half metres, I'm going to go from the widest bit, which is the bar, to this bar. So Rodney's bar to the gravel bike bar is two meters so less than half we have less than half the bike space that is mental and you know we can have we can have the toolbox back there with loads of room to get around it like this oh look at the room and then loads lots of room, of room for recreation in that corner for stuff over here so we're uh, absolutely buzzing so fast forward about a week and we've been using this now um Todd's out on one of the bikes and absolutely brilliant this thing is I'm so buzzing with it so looking at the prices you can get this from one rail with one hook which is 159.99 right the way up to two rails with enough for I think it's about 12 which is up to like 700 quid something like that and this system for eight bikes and two rails with the extender is 569.99 i'll put all the details linked down below in description for stash products i'm really really excited about this it's such a good product um check out the description also for our podcast and for our merch like comment subscribe see you soon keep it pinned